All right, that's the fire pinto, and I've got the radiator in. Turned out pretty good. I don't have it actually in, in, but it's uh, cut out. Need, needs some massaging. Sharky's been in the car watching me work. Hello, Sharky. <laughs> Scaring off the mailman and motorcycles and stuff. So, I apologize for the first video. I had it in portrait mode. So we're doing landscape mode. But down here, there's the two spot welds that kind of held it to the frame part in there. And I tried to avoid cutting that. So, looks like I'll have to... Get a little bit more off of that so it don't rub on there. I plan on probably taking the radiator up a little bit uh, so we don't uh, hit on here. This one's actually pretty good. So, get a little trimming to do. Make the spacers. I think I might try to find. Um, shock absorber uh, bushings. I've used those, I can show you in a little bit, I used it on this car actually, to mount the exhaust pipe. But I could drill a nice big hole and rubber mount this. Might be tricky here with this bump out. I'd have to go up a little higher. I should have room for my hood release cable. I like it. Now, the uh, fun part will be the hoses. I bought a new lower radiator hose thinking I was going to reuse my radiator, but you can tell that the old radiator went down farther. And this is much more bigger. Uh, they actually like bell out the end on this, so I don't know. Might be able to just snip a hose, a straight hose on here well enough. Let's see. But as for the top, uh, yeah, this is the original hose. And I put a new thermostat housing on. It didn't quite line up. It's a little bit different, but we made it work. Now, it seems like for some reason that hose don't go all the way down. As you can see with the fan. I don't know if the radiator kept it pushed up when it was on or what, but probably. But, so, as you can see, it don't reach. Uh, this one might sneak on over the oh, get on the camera that uh, might sneak on over the top of that so I could slice her here put a piece of tubing in and make it work but yeah <sighs> all in due time got plenty of room for the fan even down here, I'm a little worried about how that angles in like that. Must be a Chevy thing. Yeah, I uh, kept having to take out more here with the flapper wheel. Looks like I should probably do it again. I don't want any chafing, wearing holes, and stuff like that. Move it over. We'll give it another good, another good beating. So, here's the uh, pieces I cut out. Just uh, kind of drew a line from the edge of the hole to the edge of the hole, and Went from there. 
uh, that was about 22 inches from end to end, which is the spec on this radiator, but the thickness of the uh, rackets and the weld that put them on was giving me issue. So, good stuff. I'm going to go get some food.